If you'd asked me if I was ever going to be vegan, I'd have told you you were crazy. I'm Renee Kingson. My husband was a multi-generational cattle rancher until I convinced him to turn this place into a vegan farm sanctuary. This is the life of a cowboy, huh? <laughs> That's Penny, Penny Lane. A little Penny Vito's Lane. love here, huh? The sassy one is Rue over there. <laughs> this is Baby Go. She was rescued right out of a Houston slaughterhouse. That's Sunrise. That's Lulu. That's Dominique. Everybody here has a name and a medical file. Did you lay an egg? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your love story. For the cows? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she was singing in a bar. She had a firm rule. She would never date anybody in the crowd. Supposedly, I was the first. <laughs> I came up to him and I was like, I'm crazy. Yeah. Crazy for feeling so blue. In 2010, got married. She wanted me to move to Houston and I wanted to stay right here. We compromised and she came here. But as soon as I started selling cows, she didn't like it. He wanted you to be a cattle farmer. Yes, a rancher's wife, a good rancher's wife. And I was very, very obstinate and resistant. So he told me about these babies that needed a mama. Rowdy girl, I fed her twice a day, every day for months. She was the reason I began to see all those cows as beings and not things and not food. This is what we call the red trailer. This is what we used to transport all the baby calves in when we would take them to the sale barn. The mothers would follow it all the way up our fence line crying for their babies. This red trailer holds a lot of memories for a lot of different animals that went to the sale barn and no more, no more red trailer. She went vegan and I wasn't happy about it. I always loved my husband, but there was a point in time when I absolutely couldn't stand him. I couldn't stand what he represented. We thought nothing would shake our marriage. And me going vegan was threatening the very core of who we were as a married couple. You know, when you're at a place where you're calling your own husband a murderer and you believe it, and he's having to hear that, it just was shattering him. We had a knockdown drag out uh, when I was trying to sell calves and I was trying to load them up. Well, not on my watch. You take those babies up the cell barn one more time, I will follow it, I will Get in my car, I'll drive all the way to the cell barn, I'll buy every one of them cows back, I'll bring them all back home. Well, if you're gonna sell the whole herd, why don't you sell them to me? After she started collecting this money and we made this deal, I figured it'd all fall apart. And in less than four months, I bought my husband's cows. I raised $36,000 and every second along the way, he was like more and more open, more aware, more convinced. We're in the heart of cattle country and you became a vegan? Veganism was shoved down my throat, but I'm glad I did it. I'm healthier, I'm more enlightened on what we're doing to the earth, and the animals don't have to suffer either. They all have a story. He was rescued from slaughter. This is Panda, she was born here. Our mission really isn't to save cows, it's to educate people. But mine is to save cows too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I want to save all of them. Us starting the first vegan farm sanctuary ever has drawn a lot of attention to us. People in animal agriculture saw our story and we weren't your typical card carrying, poster carrying vegans. We were former ranchers and we look like ranchers, we talk like ranchers. What we're doing is offering them ways to transition. It's so good to meet y'all. You can actually start using the land you know, to supply solar, to supply wind energy. So people are coming from all over the country to be on this farm and learn what you're doing? You know, I, one day I woke up and I said, you know, I'm not just an animal advocate, I'm a rancher's advocate. It's like we were a beacon, like this light that just went straight up, you know? And everybody from all around that was vegan or thinking about vegan could see us. And you love Renee. Oh yeah. She's an incredible woman. She, uh, she's a strong woman. <laughs> She didn't let anything get in her way, including me. Now when I see my husband, who he really is, the man that's always been there, and the man that's in every rancher. Ah!
Can I put on one of these boots? Out my city slicker shoes, putting on the boots. She said, "Watch out for snakes." <laughs> ah, there's a lizard in there. <laughs> I told ya. <laughs> Whoa, there's like 20 dead bugs in this one. These are. <laughs> look at that. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna get in your shoe. <laughs> Man, this is Texas, huh, bugs? <laughs> I'm Michael Koenigs, the host of More in Common. And if you have a story idea, be sure to comment below and subscribe for our next episode.